Hi, my name is Jana, and you're watching Finnish Eating Stories, episode number 39. Welcome. If you're new here, hi, <laughs> I'll introduce myself properly, and if you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. So, as I already said, my name is Jana, I'm coming to you from Finland, from the southern part. We are in my craft space in our home. And this is where I knit, spin, and do other things as well. I also dye yarn, but that's what I do for a living. We're not going to talk about that because this is my this is my free time activity. Yeah, <laughs> I like to talk about knitting. <laughs> I hope you do as well. So uh, grab a project, grab a cup of something, and let's let's begin. Let's. Let's talk about knitting and a bit of purchases and Uvascular Knit Fest and yeah, I went a bit wild. <laughs> it's been a rough couple of weeks, I think actually a month, because I've been preparing for the big yarn event for the big knit fest that we have in Finland every year, except one year we skipped because of because of the virus. But yeah, let's not talk about that. So <laughs> yeah. That that took place. The festival took place last weekend in Uvascula, and today is Saturday. So a week ago I was in Uvascula, and it was it was amazing. But I will tell you later about it because now I want to talk about my finished objects and whips, and I have some. I have a confession to make. I have some purchases and acquisitions. I went wild at the knit fest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But later about that. <laughs> um, what else was important? Ah, you can find me on Instagram Esketunits and on Ravelry Esketunits. And down below in the description box is all the important information about, about this channel and about this episode. I will add links to all the patterns that I'm going to mention and... Uh, to everything and you can find you can find there the link to my instagram the link to my ravelry the link to the ravelry group and my coffee account if you'd like to support this channel and all the other important stuff so yeah but let's start traditionally with the finished objects and i actually have three because I skipped a couple of weeks of recording, I was too busy dyeing yarn and prepping for the festival, so I have whole three finished objects. Uh, let's go in order. Let's start with the most complicated one, with the most complex and beautiful, beautiful. If you're a returning viewer, you have seen this before and I finished it. I finished it way ahead of my schedule and... Here it is, my V-Men and Shawl, V-Men and Huivi by um, Katri and Pirjo from Villa Peso Ohjelma. It's a very popular Finnish knitting podcast here on YouTube. I'll link it as well down below. It's in Finnish, but if you speak Finnish, go check it out if you have not, if you're not yet a subscriber. Uh, yeah, and they designed this amazing, amazing shawl, the sisters, for, for, for the event. For the Uvasculonit Fest. And when I saw it, I fell in love and I, I decided that I need a lace, beautiful lace shawl in my wardrobe. And I'm loving it. I wore it at the festival and I've been wearing it now with my linen dresses because it's getting a bit chilly in Finland. Today it was only plus 16 when I left the house earlier in the morning. And this was actually very, very suitable. Yeah, the original design has a bit more contrast between this main lace and the border. Mine does not have as much contrast because it's it's my thing. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> I like soft colors and soft knits, but sometimes I play with contrasting colors as well. But this was not the case. I wanted it very soft and calm. And look at this beautiful lace. Yeah, I could not show it to you properly because it needed blocking. It really needed blocking to open it up. And many of you have asked about this pattern. It's only available in Finnish right now. I don't think they are going to release it in English. But I don't know. You could always ask. But 
Uh, the pattern is fully charted and very intuitive and there are videos to support it. So if you're feeling adventurous, you could give it a go. Yeah, everything is charted. And look at these corners. I, I'm in love with the corners. I'll show you the other one because they were charted as well and everything is just so beautifully finished. Like, yeah, it's, it's perfection. The only thing that, um, I think my, <laughs> I added beads here. There was two options to add beads or baubles and I added beads and you can't really see my beads because they were gray. They were gray, I think Toho beads, Japanese, maybe. I don't remember what kind of beads, but they were gray and they melted into this pale pink, into this dusty pink. They just melted into it and you can't see my beads, but they are there. You can feel them and when sun shines on them, they sparkle a little bit. Um, so it's a big shawl. It's a big shawl. I did not block it very aggressively and I think it depends on your knitting tension. I did not measure my gauge or anything, but I think mine is longer and not so deep as many other shawls I have seen. We had a... Uh, we had, uh, uh, we had pictures taken at the festival with everybody who knit these shawls and I will insert them that you can see the other shawls. Uh, yeah, I have a few. Uh, Anni from Anni Unelmat helped me to take pictures. Hi, Anni, if you're watching. Thank you so much for helping me, for being my <laughs> photographer. Um, yeah, and it, the feeling was amazing standing there with all the people that have knit the same shawl and with the designers. I, of course, took pictures with the designers. It's our thing. <laughs> we did the same thing last year and then this year. And yeah, I love this shawl. And the yarn I knitted in my own hand dyed. Uh, this middle color is called dusk. <laughs> uh, it took me a while. <laughs> my brain is still still a bit tired. And then this this border color is oyster. And you can clearly see they are two different colors. <laughs> they are in the same color color group, but they are clearly different. I don't know. If I'm speaking nonsense, please excuse me. I still have not rested and I have not slept much and I'm still in some kind of overdrive. Just go, 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 go. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm planning to take a bit off and have a proper vacation. <laughs> speaking of plans, plans, yeah, maybe next week. Next week I'm taking off and I'm I just want to spend a bit of time with the kids, but let's talk about all that stuff later. So yeah, that's my first finished object. It's fabulous. I love it. I'm, I'm going to wear it a lot. I already have worn it a lot and it's lovely. Let's put it away. Let's fold it nicely. Yeah. And it's knit in Merino singles. It's, it's single ply Merino that, oh, here you can see the colors when I, I folded it. So, love it. Okay, let's put it aside. My second finished object is also related to Yuvascula Knit Fest. Can you believe? <laughs> Remember when I was picking between two shawls? Which one I'm gonna knit? If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen that. I knit both. I don't know. Some magic just happened and I knit both. <laughs> Here is my Knit Love Unite shawl by Tina from Titi2 and Jonna from Lina magazine. And this was the official festival shawl. Yeah, my color choice, I don't know, can you see the text? Here in the border, it actually reads Knit Love Unite. My colors are too close together. I did not have crazy contrast there because I just love these colors and I love this yarn. I ordered yarn from Kassapuoti, which is a Finnish, Finnish yarn store that sells mostly Finnish sheep wool. Some, some other yarns as well, but Anna's special, specialty is Finnish sheep wool. And I ordered from their Yalovilla uh, Vuona which is single ply finished sheep wool because it's just so, it's so nice and soft and it's not toothy at all, I think. I think it's it's the softest finished sheep wool I have knit. 
I've knit other things with this same yarn as well. And I have one beautiful braid that I'm storing there for another shawl I want to knit. I want to knit Harry shawl by Anna from Gessepuoti. And I wanted to knit it this summer because there was a knit along and there was a, I think, a picture moment at the festival that they took photo together. And yeah, I did not manage to even start that. I didn't have time, but I'll, I'll have my own, <laughs> my own knitting fun. So yeah, I finished this one as well. It was pure miracle. I think it was two days before the festival and I blocked it the, the night before and it dried. No, two nights before. I don't know. I'm a bit blurry on the timeline. <laughs> but yeah, I can't tell you the color names, but I don't have the ball bands, the skein bands here with me. Sorry, <laughs> not prepared. Mm. Yeah, it was just a good moment to record because Hobby took our little, little yeller out of the house. They went to pick something. I don't know, something, something. <laughs> so they... And I used the moment I ran here and started recording because our son is doing something in his room and it's a quiet moment in the house. I don't think I will get another chance. <laughs> yeah, another chance of quiet house. So yeah, very simple triangular shawl. I love it. I will use it in autumn or actually even now. It's lovely. The only thing that happened... I missed I missed the photo shoot when everybody took pictures of the shawl. I was two minutes late and it was gone. I'm I'm still st still sad about it, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, I was busy with the customers because <sighs> people went there for fun and actually us the sellers we went there to work. It was two days of hard work and then and then when you're trying to rest, your brain is still is still in the working mode. So I tried to try to run there for the photo shoot and I missed it by two minutes. <laughs> yeah, so I don't have pictures with all the other shawls, unfortunately. But I did knit the shawl and I think that's that's the important thing. Okay, that's my second finished object today. And my third finished object is a pair of socks. I, I was looking for them on the floor, but they are here. You have seen these. These are the socks that I knit on my trip to Turku from my hand-dyed yarn. And the color name is uh, Unicorn Cloud. And these are DK weight socks. I have two of them. <laughs> One is on the blocker. Yeah, very simple sock. I don't have a pattern for this. I just improvised. Um, I just slipped some stitches here in front to make it a bit more interesting. And then I used the same heel that I used in Annelise socks by Helena Joronen, the ones with the funny ruffles. Um, if you have not seen them, skip a couple of episodes back and there you will see my neon ruffle socks. Uh, the heel is from there. I just adapted the stitch count to the DK yarn because I'm honestly, I'm in love with this heel. Oh, some fluff. I'm in love with this heel. I don't know the name of it, but it it fits my foot so well. I have high instep and this heel, it's magic. First of all, you don't need to pick up any stitches. Yay, because always I have problem when I pick up stitches. One edge is neater than the other and like, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, and here you don't need to pick up stitches. And it gives you so much space here that this doesn't even stretch out this part. I this is my new favorite heel. If you know the proper name for this heel, please let me know. I have no clue. But the first time I used it in Helena's pattern when I knit the... Do I have ruffle socks somewhere here? I have one. I'll show you what I'm talking about. These. These socks that you have seen, seen before, they have the same heel. I love it. I love that heel. And I'm going to be using that heel, I think, from now on. Because it's so easy. It's simple. And it's a great fit for my for my foot. 
I love it. So yeah, just just a simple pair of vanilla socks. Nothing, nothing special. And now I realized I forgot to grab another pair of socks. That is my whip. They are somewhere. Or did I grab them? We will we will get there. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. I'm in I'm in a meeting. <laughs> um what else? Those are all my finished objects. I had three, which is a lot because two of them were big shawls, especially one. Um I could tell you what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing Kevat by Caitlin Hunter, Boyland Knitworks, and I knit this I wanna say last year. <laughs> I, I want to say last year and it's a very very small short summer top that I'm wearing with a skirt or sometimes over a dress today I'm wearing it with 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 black linen skirt um yeah I love it I will link the pattern down below so shall we go to all my whips because um <laughs> you're not gonna believe I have a few new costumes. A few, maybe two, maybe three, but <laughs> a lady never tells the real amount of her costumes, yeah? Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready for it, but this is no judgment zone. <laughs> uh, we're not judging anyone about the amount of costumes, about the amount of whips or UFOs or yarn we buy or yeah mm -mm. <laughs> this is the safe zone this is the safe area where where you can do whatever whatever you like and you can share and nobody will judge you I promise <laughs> um, yeah I have a few new cast -ons. it was it just happened it just happened because I thought, okay, I want to knit. I want to knit myself a summer top, and then I started one, and then during the festival, two new amazing patterns came out, and I just had to start those as well. I just, I don't know. I don't know what happened. This happened. So, let's go in order. First things first. Uh, my first one, it's called. I wrote down the name because I'm all the time mixing it up. It's called Scotch Broom. Scotch broom. I, <laughs> somebody asked, what are you knitting? It's this broom, some kind of broom. <laughs> it's scotch broom by wool and pine. And last year I knit summer sorrel by them and I really enjoy that one. So I started knitting scotch broom. <laughs> My hubby asked, what are you knitting? A skirt? A mini skirt? What is that? <laughs> yeah, no, not a skirt. This is my new summer top, but we will turn it around. <laughs> um, it goes like this and it's actually almost ready um, because I need to seam the shoulders look at this lace it has now it's double let's drop it to single it has this fun lace pattern and I'm knitting it in my festival color that I dyed up for the festival, it's called Kesa on Crazy, which means summer is crazy, and it is, it has been. Yeah, I had two faulty skeins where I had too much pink, so I took them faulty. <laughs> they are not faulty, but they were a bit different than the others. They happen to have too much pink in them, so I, I took them to myself to make a sample, which will be my summer top. Yeah. This was my festival color. If you've been wondering, I have a few new, few, few other new colors, but not important. Not, not the channel about my yarn. This is channel about my knitting. So this is my scotch broom. Almost said summer sorrel. No, that, that's the one from last year. So I need to decide how long I want it and now I, I would need to seam the shoulders here I, I need to seam the shoulders and then decide where do where do I want to stop how cropped do I want it I've been thinking of wearing it over a dress so I don't know do I block it first because I think there was some sort of ribbing yeah if it's a crop top, it will it will stretch out a bit when yeah it's it's not that short it's just rolling I think I'm somewhere ready to start the ribbing. I think it had ribbing. Not sure. <laughs> Double check all the information I'm giving you today because, whoa. <laughs> uh, 
my head is still spinning. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to decide on the length. Do I want it very cropped or do I want it a bit longer? I have this much left from the first skein, but I have one more skein. I reserved two skeins for it, so yarn amount is not a problem. I just need to decide how how do I want it. And basically then it will be, it will soon be ready. Maybe like an hour of knitting. Plus the seaming, shoulder seaming, I think will take longer. Yeah. So that's one of my summer tops. I just need to decide how do I want it. Have you knit this? Uh, it was a fun little quick knit. <laughs> I did not knit much at the festival. I don't know. I was just so tired that it was hard. Honestly, it was hard. That I also started a sock. I think if I have it here. If I have it here, I'll show it to you. Because I needed something. I needed some knitting for, for the road. And then I started a sock. And then when I arrived at the festival, the first evening, I was looking, why is this so loose? For some reason, I knitted very loosely and I, I had to frog the whole thing. And the weirdest thing is, I did not notice that while I was knitting it. It looked fine in the car, shaking a bit and I was knitting. Yeah, and then I started again and th this is how much I knit at the festival. <laughs> it's a sock. It's supposed to be a sock. I am experimenting there with the texture. Not really sure what I'm doing, but I'm doing something. And it's it's a sock with this kind of yarn. Also my hand dyed color jellyfish. This is jellyfish and it lives in a matching Bertie and Poppet bag that I love, my favorite bags. <sighs> you can find them on Etsy. I'll link it down below. This one has foxes on it. You have you have seen it probably. If you're if you're a returning viewer, you have seen this multiple times. But this is one of my favorites because of all the colors and the foxes and yeah, it matches. It actually matches my knit my project. I love to match bags to my projects. Nothing much to tell about this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep knitting on these. Now it looks a bit small because the tension is right. Maybe I needed to knit just a plain vanilla sock. Should have probably. I don't know. I don't know how, how I feel about this, but it's my travel project when I'm in the car. I always need a sock on the go. So that's there. And now let's go to a couple of new customs. <laughs> and this is... <laughs> yeah. One is by Sari Nordlund, <laughs> because Sari just released her Kutar, Kutar top. She has Kutar sweater and Kutar tee, I think. And now she released a top and I fell in love with it. I decided I, I need it. I need it in my life. I need it now. So I cast it on and here we are. That blue yarn is a provisional cast on. That's <laughs> Don't look at that. Look at that lace. I'm so madly in love with that lace in the scooter top. It looks very small, but just because it's here. It goes here and then I have 80 centimeter needles. I can't spread it out, but I'm already knitting on the body. It's not small. It's just here on, on my shorter needles. And now I would need to... I think I will do the... I will do the I cord here first to decide how how it's gonna sit here. I don't know how how high I want it. I need to try it on and then yeah <laughs> and then finish this upper part. I'm having problems finding the words <laughs> today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, not very informative <laughs> podcast today, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. And the story about this... Okay, let's admire the lace once again, then I'll tell you <laughs> what happened. The story about this is that I wanted to cast on immediately. So I went stash diving and I wanted something with a bit of linen in it. And then I found the yarn. And then I found the yarn, which was Kremke Lazy Linen, that I had put 
yeah, those that fluff sticking out is linen that I put aside for my half and half wrap as the second color. And I decided, oh my gosh, this neutral would be a perfect color for, for my top. And I snitched it from there because I'm not working on that wrap now. It's still too hot outside. I decided I will prioritize my summer top because there is a chance I might still get to wear it today. I have a little denim jacket, a short one, that needs a neutral summer top under it. And I think this, this, this would be perfect. And then with a denim skirt or jeans or maybe, I don't know, linen skirt. I think this will work with everything. So... I decided to go with the neutral, and this is color number two, I think, out of Kremke Lazy Linen. Sorry if my nails are not very... <laughs> yeah, they are in bad condition because I did some gardening yesterday. I cleaned a bit strawberries and <laughs> did another things in the garden, and now, now I need to hide my nails. <laughs> they are not the prettiest. <laughs> yeah, would need to redo them. Yeah, but I'm in love. I'm this far. I started it, I want to say on Thursday. Today is Saturday. I have not knit today. Maybe two rows in the morning with my morning coffee. Because then I went to work to open shop for two lovely customers that came from Helsinki to visit. And it was lovely. Yeah, then I went to buy some veggies. We're also starting to have our own veggies, but now I'm digressing because this is about... <laughs> Let's talk about all that stuff in the end when we knit and chat. I'm digressing. I'm all over the place today. I'm sorry. I have had too many coffees. <laughs> My heart is racing. I'm I'm jumping between topics, and but please forgive me. I think I'm in the... I'm almost in the holiday mode already. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else to tell about it, except I love it. I need to find another yarn for my half and half triangles wrap. But we will deal with that later when we get there. Because I'm still knitting on that vi light violet lilac yarn. The first part of it. And anyways, I'm not sure was it even good for it. Would it be too boring? But now it's going to be a top. And this is how much I have from the first 100 gram skein. And I don't know, I think I wanted normal length that it would work with most of the things. Yeah, not overdressed, that I could wear it with jeans or a skirt. So it will be a regular length top. I just need to decide where do I want it to sit. I think around around like that would be would be good. It's such a fast knit because that lace that lace was so addictive. And it will be even better when I block it. So that's one of my new cast-ons. Soon ready. I will definitely finish this quickly. My next one, it might go for the next summer. There is a chance I'm not gonna finish it this year because, because I'm knitting a summer top in a lace weight yarn. Yeah, <laughs> crazy isn't it? I so rarely knit anything in lace weight that I'm out of practice. But I had to cast it on because Anna Johanna was walking around in her new caramelli tea, uh, caramelli tea in, um, at the festival. And she visited my booth and we talked and it's such a pretty little top that I wanted it as well. And I don't have much lace yarn in my stash so I will quickly show you some of my acquisitions, purchases and acquisitions, because because it's related to this top. <laughs> I bought this from Titi Do the last day, just before leaving, and it's Ito Kino. It's a Japanese silk yarn. It's a hundred percent silk. Yeah, uh, four hundred twenty-five meters in 50 grams that's a lot of meters and these are my colors uh, I'll insert the picture of the top of Anna Johanna's top here and the colors I'm using are Angora and Logwood yeah when I visited Titi Do, I wanted this as my main color and this as a lace but they only had one of those all of these so 
I thought, ah, okay, let's just switch, switch it around. So now my mane is this and my lace is going to be in this. Also very neutral top. I'll show you how much I have. It's not very interesting right now because not much to see. I'm still on this back. Ooh, I'm losing my cones. I'm knitting on three millimeter needles. <laughs> yeah, I don't often use those. Luckily, I had some at home. Um, this is the back. <laughs> I'm working on the back. It's yeah. Imagine that. that yeah, that's the back. <laughs> Yeah, there is some very long ribbing and now, I don't know, can you even see? I'm on a stockinette. I'm on a stockinette. I have made a few rows of stockinette right there. Yeah, not much to see yet, but maybe next time I can show you more. Chances are I'm not going to finish it by the end of Finnish summer because it might just end tomorrow. You never know in Finland. <laughs> yeah, it will start raining and then here we are in autumn. But there's always next year, right? Right. <laughs> uh, but it's a pretty little top and I wanted to knit something different in a lace weight. Ah, and I'm using my one of my favorite needles, which are at the Novel. Look, they are these square needles with little bumps. They are great for silk and mohair because uh, they keep the stitches in place. Yeah, you you don't drop your stitches, they don't slide. I usually have problem when I knit with slippery yarn or very thin yarn that I easily lose my stitches. That's why I love these needles. If you have same problem, I recommend <laughs> trying these out. So, that's my another cast on, but that's that's not urgent, right? And then one more thing. I have not cast it on yet, but I'm considering it heavily. Let's see how quickly I finish any of these. If I finish one of these tops, let's say this weekend, I'll cast on another thing from here. <laughs> uh, knits from Vera's book were very hot this summer. So many people had... Um, had a dress and I I just and I've been thinking of one of the tops that I wanna yeah so many people had this dress in different variations I don't know it did not speak to me earlier but now I think I'm considering it maybe for next year it was so fun people had them in different colors and with different stripes and Somebody had like friendship dresses, they had matching dresses, very similar ones. But yeah, that's for the next year. But what I've been thinking about for a while already is this Helene top. This one right here, knit in tweed. Because I want it. I want it. I dyed up a big batch of tweed for the festival and I was thinking if those two colors that I had in mind for my own top. If they are still left <laughs> from the festival, like I need two and two, I'm gonna knit that, that T. It's not a top, it's a, it's a T. And yeah, I had them left. And now I wanna knit that top in, in these. This is Raven and this is Oyster. And I wanna put them together and I wanna knit a stripey top. It is quite high contrast for me but I think I, I want it like that. It just speaks to me. I saw so many beautiful variations at the festival that I just, yeah. And a couple of customers picked up this same, this same color combo. And I was asking, mm, Helen T. They were saying, yeah, how do you know? <laughs> I have same plans. I have same plans in my head. So that's, that's my knitting plan. I have some other plans, but they are more of autumn knits, but let's not talk about them yet. Let's leave them for the next episode, because otherwise I have too much content for today and nothing for the next time. So let's, let's save a bit. Okay, one more thing. One more thing that I wanted to mention was my giveaway. Was my two years giveaway that, yeah, my channel turned two last month and I wanted to have a giveaway 
and I picked up a couple of things uh, at the festival. I bought, I bought one of these bags that will be part of the prize, the festival bag, and I will fill this bag with my yarn and some stitch markers. So it will be a surprise package. You will get a little festival baggie full of yarn dyed by me. I will show it later. <laughs> when I'm announcing the winner, I will show what you're going to get. So if you'd like to enter the giveaway, it's very simple. Subscribe to my channel, hit a thumbs up on this video, and then leave me a comment telling me about your favorite summer pattern. It can be knit or crochet, it doesn't really matter, just your favorite summer pattern. And that way we could all get wonderful ideas for our summer knits. And that's it, and you have time till my next next regular episode. Yeah, which should be out in a week or two. Depends how, how my holiday goes. <laughs> so at least a week of time you have. And you will get this baggie filled with yarn and some other goodies from me. <sighs> yes, that's it. I announced the giveaway. <laughs> I have a small checklist that I drafted there because ooh, I'm not here. <laughs> not quite here. Yes, so that's it about the giveaway. And now, now we are gonna go through my purchases and acquisitions. If you're not interested in that, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. And if you want to go through my crazy wild shopping and hear about the festival and about my life, then get even more comfy. <laughs> get another drink. <laughs> this is going to take a while because somebody just went wild at uh, the knit fest. Yeah, that somebody. That was me. Uh, let's start with that, that with, 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 with a bit, with, with a little pre-talk. I did not have any shopping plans. My only shopping plan were these earrings, because I saw that Pirio from Villa Peso Ojielma, and she has her own jewelry brand called Pinio Design. She made another festival earrings, and I bought special earrings last year, and I love them. I have worn them a lot. They are those wooden ones with the yarn hanging. It's like a skein with the, with the yarn. And now I saw these. It reads, can you see? It reads nail law, which means knit in Finnish. So your earrings are always telling you what to do. <laughs> yeah, they are always telling you to knit. And she had them in different colors. She had them in blue and red and orange and then these gray ones and then the mirror ones. I was picking between the gray and mirror because other colors were nice, but they did not fit any of my wardrobe. They were, I was obsessed with the orange ones, but I don't know where, they don't go with my, with my outfits. So I picked these neutral ones and I love them. It was my very first festival purchase, if we don't count my TT2 shoppings on Thursday. So we went there. Let's, let's, let's start with the first things first. So we went there on Thursday. We drove there with my hubby. We had a fun trip. I was a bit beaten because I was still labeling mini still four in the morning the previous night, but all well worth it. <laughs> Everything for you, my dears. Um, yeah. And then my first stop, let's go to Titi 2. Let's go to Titi 2 because we just, I just have to. I don't know if some people mentioned, oh, so nice to see uh yarn dyers and other <laughs> yarn shopkeepers to, to shop at the other yarn store. Of course, of course we do. I don't know. It would be so boring if I would only knit with my own yarn. That's not my thing. I need to try all the yarns out there. I get excited about excited about the yarns. So the first thing I picked e sorry, I'm gonna dive. <laughs> dive for the stuff. The first thing that I picked from Titi2. And it was good that I did because it got sold out again. I already didn't get this book the first time it came because I was, I was too late to the party. Stevens Painting Shawls. Did it you got a new batch and I, I got one on Thursday. And I'm so happy I did because they sold out. Yeah, most of you probably know this book because... 
Yeah. <laughs> Be still my heart. Steven West. I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan and I'm waiting for the mystery knit along this year. I am. I'm gonna knit another mystery shawl. And oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about another thing unrelated. Have you seen the mystery shawl by Helen Stewart? I'm in love with that one. I don't know, I have to put it on my list. There was a mystery knit along and I somehow missed it. I saw it on Wool and Wine podcast when she was already knitting it and I was like Oh, how did I miss this one? I'm too late for the party. But I checked the finished shawls and they are amazing. I want one so much. It's another lace shawl, you guys. Yeah. But it was amazing. <laughs> Speaking of mystery knit alongs, but okay, go back. Getting back to my purchases. Yeah, I got this book. I got this book because I wanted it. I got it. And then I picked up some yarn on. Yeah, these I got on Sunday. You have seen them already. Not going to show them again. Then I found this skein by... Skein by Skein Queen. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I just like... Wah. I saw it and I had to have it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's on the crush base. And the color name is Honey Creeper. <sighs> All my favorite colors in one skein. How amazing is that? I love it. I picked it up from the TT2 and then I got, I bought these purely on the touch. <laughs> these were so amazing. It's by, it's Meadow by the Fiber Company. And the color name is Lavender. It's this amazing yarn that has every all the good stuff in it it's it has baby llama silk linen and merino wool it's 40 percent wool 25 percent llama 20 silk and 15 linen and it's 498 meters uh 545 yards per 100 grams and it was just <laughs> it was so amazing there was a dusty pink but they only had one and then I fell in love with this color. Look, it has multiple colors in it. It says lavender, but it has a bit of like... It has different shades and a bit of pink. And sometimes it feels like there is green in it. But I don't know. It's just... I can't see any green, but it just feels. There is no green, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm making up <laughs> the colors. Um, Yeah. And I want to knit a shawl from these. My initial idea was the shawl from the cover of the newest liner magazine of the summer summer edition. Summer no, issue edition. <laughs> Blee blah bloop. By the Fiber Co. <laughs> these were so fabulous. They were so soft. I want to knit a shawl. Yeah, I think that's the shawl I want to knit. Don't remember the name of it and I don't have do I have a magazine here? I'll quickly go through my magazine pile here. Yep. Yep. It's my lucky day. This one. This one. I'm talking about this shawl. There were samples from the from the magazine. They all were at TT2 and I looked at this shawl and I think I want it. Are there more there were more pictures somewhere? This was not. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, are there? <laughs> I don't know I got. Yeah, when I'm trying to find one, I can't find it. And the name of the show is. I don't know. I don't know the name of the show, but I'll find it. Yeah, I found more pictures. I did find more pictures of it. And I was thinking, what if I make it in this? Wouldn't it be fabulous? I think it would. Mm. Mine would be thinner because I think this was knit in fingering weight. I think. I think it was. I. Okay, let's not browse the magazines now. <laughs> but yeah. I bought something with a purpose. <laughs> with a purpose. This was not planned. It just happened. I, I picked these up and I could not put them down anymore. So, yeah. 
Those are my purchases on Thursday. Then on Friday, before we opened, I ran and bought these earrings. And then I, it was a very busy day. I did not have a chance to to go and buy anything. And then when we wrapped it up at 5 o'clock, I quickly managed to shop a bit from Ilo Yarn and from Ulrike by Anki. They were there in the outside yard and I bought I bought some things from them. I will show you <laughs> everything in order. Yeah, and missing a ball. Where's the ball of yarn? I lost there. There it is. There it is. So let's start with my purchases from Ara. Ilo Ilo Yarn. <laughs> Ilo Yarn Shop and it's it's the yarn that Laura and Yonna dye. It's called Ara Yarn. And I picked this very delicate skein. I was thinking that this would work great in some kind of shawl. I can combine it with some other colors and this is like this is like a lucky skein. On illicit erilicit, which means it's like a one of a kind. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was just so soft and delicate. I have a lot of yarn by Ara in my stash. I could pair this with, with something else. And then I picked from the same store because Taiwan Ranta yarn there. And this is a DK weight. It's a self striping DK. And the colors were just so lovely. <sighs> so lovely and I decided that I'll find I'll find some suitable mini maybe something like this or maybe something darker I don't know for the match for for the contrasting contrasting matching I don't know what what I'm saying <laughs> basically for the cuffs toes and the heel and heels but yeah these are my purchases from from Ilo Yarn. There you can see. They have new labels. They have new labels. Yeah. I did not find the mini from there. But I think I have. I should have something in my stash. Probably. Probably. And then next to them was Ulrike by Anki. And it's another yarn dyer from Turku. And I picked... This kind of yarns from there. I picked this sock set. It's a sock set named. Does it have a name? Summer Dance. <laughs> How fun. Summer Dance. I don't know. Will I make socks or will I make something else? Maybe a little cowl. I don't know yet. But it's so soft. It's merino. So could be could be anything. Here is the logo. This was lovely. Yeah, and then I picked one of her new bases. I think it's new. I've never seen it before. Um, this is Gaia base and color name is Cafe Latte. And what's interesting about it, it has 22.5% of cotton and 22.5% of nylon and 11% of silk and 44% of superwash wool. So, summer socks. I want to try to make summer socks with a bit of cotton. I'm not a big fan of cotton. If if you if you've been watching, you know me. Like I don't knit with cotton often, but this one has this one has so much other good stuff like silk and wool that I think it's gonna be okay. It was just interesting, and this <laughs> this color spoke to me. That some kind of some kind of summer socks maybe. That's the plan. <laughs> Probably. Might not happen this year, but oh well. And then on Saturday, which was the second selling day, I had like 10 or 15 minutes to shop. So I ran to other direction. <laughs> I ran to other direction and picked stuff from there quickly. I did some speed shopping. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> I did not have much time, so it all was on an instinct. <laughs> um yeah <laughs> sometimes sometimes it happens uh okay lanidium i picked from yeah she was actually next next to me so i picked these two i have a stash of of this yarn i have my own stash i i should need something nice with all of them but i just i just love these layered colors this is feather boa and this is maleficent 
Mm, I love these colors. I have more there in my stash. Yeah, two of these both are soft merino sock, 400 meters per 100 grams. That was one. Uh, then I I went and picked this this funny colorful thing from Handel. Mm, yeah, this kind of cake. I don't know what it's gonna do when I knit it up. It's gonna be a surprise. And then don't laugh. I went to Rova Silma Salmo. <laughs> and this happened. I don't know. This is what happens when when you're just, or just you're just speed shopping on an instinct. <laughs> don't judge me. I was laughing so hard when I put these together. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my colors. They are my colors. Yeah, this is called Tripla. I guess it's right, Paula. This is by Rova Silmo Salmo. Yeah, so this one, and then from from Sirpa I picked one Merino Sukkis, which this one is Illansu. Not my colors, but they were so... Th this one is so lovely. I think I checked it last time, but she ran out. <laughs> now I grabbed one of these. Uh, the thing is that if something is not really your color, it always works as socks. You don't have to put it next to your face. Because I'm obsessed with this color combo. Or maybe, maybe I could knit a gift for somebody. I don't know, but I just had to have it. And then some random, little random mini. Does this have a name? Yeah, Pugetti. I think this was her new color for the festival. I just picked a mini. I decided I'll add a square into my um, coziest memories blanket. So these I picked from Rova Silmo Solmo. Lovely finish hand dyer, yarn dyer. And then when I was almost leaving, my eye caught something from Kassager Pom Pom. And I picked one skein of their BFL sock. And this is Daydream. And I could not remember if I have this already or not. I asked, did you have this color last year? They said, yeah. And I said, I don't know if I have it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so drawn to it that I can't leave it there. I have to have it. So if I have two skeins of this, that's, that's good. I can make something bigger, not just a pair of socks. And if I have one, so then I have one. <laughs> then I'll make a pair of socks. And this is a BFL sock. And these colors are lovely. Are lovely. And those are all my yarn purchases but i do have a couple of little things that i picked from the knitting barber we were there in the same spot and i picked this little keychain with uh, with with tape measure by knitting barber i think it was lovely and then this little pouch i'm not sure if i'm gonna use it as knitting pouch or maybe just as a coin purse I don't know. I, I just have to have it. Or maybe I'll keep my car keys in it. I don't know. I needed this. I needed this in my life. So now I have this and these from the Knitting Barber. Uh, they also had some amazing knitting journals there, but I decided that I don't need one yet. That I could get one later. <laughs> I was trying to <laughs> limit myself a little bit because somebody went wild at the knit fest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and this one I got from Titi Two. I got two of these, one for myself and one for you. You you'll get this one that's not wrinkled. <laughs> yeah. So two of these I got from Titi Two. What else? What else? I'll I'll knit. I'll knit a bit with you. So the festival was very fun. I had I had a plan that I'm going to record there and I'm going to take a lot of videos, but it did not happen, you guys. Sorry. I took some short videos and I'll add I'll add my snippets at the end of this. You will there will be a short <laughs> 
much short report about the festival. But it was amazing. It was amazing. There was a lot of great yarn. There were all the amazing people from our knitting community and good food and good knitting company. And I tried to enjoy it as much as I could. I tried to drag myself back to Toivol and Piha after, <laughs> after we were done for the day. <laughs> uh, and it was so worth it. I was completely beaten afterwards, but it was it was so great. It was amazing. I don't know. Knitting community, I think, is one of the best. I don't know. Is it even knitting? It's like, it's yarn community. I think that's more correct term because some of us are crocheters and some are spinners, but we don't judge. We don't sort people by their craft. We don't care what you do <laughs> with yarn. Do you make it? Do you knit with it? Do you crochet? If it's yarn, you're welcome. <laughs> Maybe you macrame. We don't care. Come join us. It's it's amazing because only there, I think, you could just see a group of people and you could ask, is this seat taken? Could I just, is this a private, <laughs> private group or can I join you and everybody? Yeah, sure. Come join us. Come eat with us. Come knit with us. Come, come hang with us. It's amazing. You can, you can go alone to that festival and find new friends. It's like that. And I don't know. I did not eat alone during the whole thing or had a cup of coffee alone and it was amazing. There was always somebody that would say, ah, come here, we have a seat. <laughs> yeah. And I met so many people, some of them not for the first time and some for the first time. All the people that I'm watching, I'm watching a lot of Finnish podcasts when I die yarn and now I met so many of you and I loved you all. You're all amazing and I'm... I think I'm still overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm inspired for a year ahead till the next festival when we see again. I hope. I hope we see again next year. <sighs> Did I mention it was amazing? <laughs> I should find another word. Great, fantastic, fun, exciting, inspiring, energizing. <laughs> How many words do I know? <laughs> yeah, so it was wonderful. And there were a lot of fun things. There was uh, there uh, people took common pictures with the same knits they have made, or there was a lenta sweater parade. I missed it because my husband went to pick the food at that moment, and I could not leave the booth, so I missed the lento parade. I had two lento sweaters with me, but I had to miss the parade, unfortunately. Uh, like yeah. All the people who have knit lento sweaters, they <laughs> did a catwalk around the yard. <laughs> it was very fun. I watched the video later and I was peeking through the window. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had an inside place. That was fun. Um, yeah, I was alone at my booth and hubby was just fetching, fetching me food and water that I would not faint there on their table somewhere. <laughs> the weather was nice. It started raining when we were packing already on Sunday. And yeah, before that, it was great. It was great. And everything was great. And I don't know. Is there anything else I could tell you? <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed about the event that I think I still need to process it and <laughs> file it in my head. Talk more about it. But I really enjoyed it. It was very nice to meet all the people that I kind of know <laughs> from my living room or from my dye studio because I have you there <laughs> talking to me while I'm doing something. <laughs> yeah, too exciting, sorry. Uh, yeah, it was good to have a, a little mental break from all the troubles in life because... Life isn't always that great, but it's good to have these little moments where you just switch off and do something nice that you enjoy, because life is short. Enjoy it while you can. <laughs> yeah, that sounded bad, but which is, which, is, which is kind of true. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, yeah, what else? I'm trying to take a bit free time. Yeah, I would need to get my my solar jars out and rinse the yarn. I think they are ready. They should be. 
I just did not have time, but good. They are cooking there. They don't need me there. I can get them, get the yarn out when I have time. Then I've been thinking of maybe rearranging this space a little bit. I don't know. I could go through my yarn stash. I could do a bit of sorting, arranging. All the great plants. I could knit a lot. It's been raining here in Finland yesterday and today. I managed to do a bit gardening yesterday, but not much. Yeah, I have, I've been thinking of spinning something. Oh yeah, one more thing that arrived. <laughs> Hedgehog fibers, spinning bag, fiber bag. I have wanted this forever and they had sale and I just had to, I had to get this. It's 250 grams of random hand dyed fibers. And I got that one as well. I'm still halfway through my my advent fiber calendar. I have not finished that. Somebody asked. It's still like around halfway. I could maybe later show you what, what I have. Maybe next time. Uh, yeah. Have not spun up those. Because I don't know. Spinning. I don't have enough time. And I'm sad because I really love spinning. But that's... It's competing with my knitting. I actually have my old electric wheel somewhere. I could dust it off and try it again. It had some issues. Sometimes it runs, sometimes it's a bit cranky, but I could try if that works, maybe. Maybe that way I could spin up more yarn. <laughs> it would be a bit faster than with the with a regular wheel. Um hmm. What else? I don't know what else. Kids have been enjoying their holiday. We've been spending a lot of time outside, doing all kind of fun things. And now I'm thinking about taking a short break from yarn dyeing. I want to do stuff at home. Hubby is promising he will take a week off from his work. I don't believe that's going to happen, but let's hope. Let's hope. So just going to be here is gonna be here we'll still go to store to ship orders and such uh yeah i don't know just trying to enjoy enjoy my summer we have a lot of strawberries this year and a lot of cucumbers my garden is doing great my garden is doing great yeah i planted more radish yesterday because we already we already ate all the previous one. I usually plant, uh, plant it in um, in like waves that we always would have some, but I was too busy preparing for the festival that I missed my radish window and now we don't have any. We already ate the previous one and the new one is not, not yet there. So, yeah. <laughs> but I think we'll survive. I can pick some radish from the market. Um... I think I just forgot to increase. <laughs> I need to do body increases and I'm so busy. Okay, we will check when when I get there. Yes, I did. I did forgot to do the body increase. Oops. Let's do it now. Otherwise, my stitch marker is telling me that it's time for increases. Progress keeper. Ah. <sighs> so nice to sit down and chat to you. I missed you. I think my last video came out... Has it been two or three weeks? I don't know. I have no clue. But yeah, it was weird not to not to record for a few weeks. I tried to squeeze one more in, but I just I just did not get a chance. I was I was too tired, honestly, to do it. Um, tell me what's up with you. <laughs> what have you been up to? Uh, I have so many, I have so many knitting plans and I saw so many great knits at the festival that now I want to knit them all. Where do I get more time in my day? I just, it's such a great source of inspiration when you see all of them live and people wearing these amazing things. And there were a lot of Vaca cardigans, you know, the stripy one by Anna Johanna, my, my neon pink. Um, yeah, there were a lot of those this year. And then a lot of things from Vera's uh, Stripes book. And I don't know, I just I just want to knit it all. 
knit them all and I have some I've been already thinking about my autumn knits and a new book by Loppy by Istex came out their anniversary book and I have that at the store and that's full of great knits and should I already be planning my autumn knits but I'm still in the summer mood because did I increase here yes I did I did not miss any increases all good all good here I still want to do work on my summer knits having hope that I can wear it this summer and not next year uh I don't know I'm all over the place today. Sorry for that. What else? I don't think there is anything else. The festival was great. I'll try to... I'll try to... <laughs> make some kind of video from all the snippets that I filmed. I will try. But yeah, I shopped a lot. And now, now I need to maybe sit down and make a list of all the things that I want to knit. And then prioritize them. So I'm definitely going to finish this top. Then the scotch broom. And then we will see. Do I cast on something else? Or do I finish some of my old ones? I have also decided to frog some of those old UFOs. That I think I'm just not going to finish them. So I'm going to frog them. And do something else with that yarn. Yeah, I've been very inspired to organize my space and maybe get rid of some whips and UFOs, either finish or frog them. I'm not going to waste my time on something that I am i don't have interest in anymore. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm a process knitter. I'm not a product knitter, I'm a process knitter because... It's more important to me, this, <laughs> like, knitting this lace, I think, was very exciting. <laughs> yeah, and that's why it's easy for me to frog, because I just, I don't feel like I want to knit it anymore. I know I have invested my time in it, but if it doesn't speak to me anymore, I'm just, I'm just not gonna... It's okay to frog it and use the fabulous yarn for something else. Yeah, I don't know. My head is quite blank right now, I think, because I, I skipped lunch today. I went to work and then I skipped lunch. And now I'm feeling a bit lightheaded. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go make myself a sandwich and have a cup of coffee. And it's better if we... If we talk more next time, when I actually have something to say, rather than just random blah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think we're going to just an end here. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for being here. Don't forget to enter my giveaway, my surprise yarn giveaway. It's, it's going to be fun, I promise. Uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and hit that bell. Then you will get a notification every time a new episode comes out. And I will see you next time, hopefully very soon. And maybe we could do some kind of vlog kind of thing while I'm on the holiday. How about that? How does that sound? Okay. But now, heippa and I'll see you soon. Going to Yuvaskula and we will take you with us. Anything you want to say? <laughs> Not really. Watch the road. <laughs> okay, we will see you later.